Mitchell Trubisky's upset. Well, here is Mitchell Trubisky saying, you got to turn off these TVs at our headquarters here because people say mean things. Trying to get some of these TVs in the building turned off because you got too many people talking on TV about us and uh, what they think about us, what we should do, what we are and what we're not. But they don't really know who we are or what we're capable of as people or what we're going through or what we're thinking. Um, it's just the outside viewers uh, looking in. And uh, so, yeah, tunnel vision, earmuffs, and just come to work every day and try to get better and get back to what we know we're capable of doing. Okay. The reason why... People are, and this isn't playing well in Chicago, but the reason why you have the media talking about this is because we do know the expectations. You were a playoff team last year. You actually played well. I, I didn't create expectations. Well, I probably did because I said the Bears would be a playoff team last year. I didn't create expectations for Mitchell Trubisky because they were a pleasant surprise. He was a pleasant surprise last year. Now, all of a sudden, you know, you want to, these are the TVs at the facility. He does it one on. Yeah, see. It's was that meant to be taken literally? That that he's actually walking around trying to get the TVs turned off there? Or was he just saying there's too many people, we can't listen to outside noise, we just need to focus on the team? But you could say that, but it does sound like he's saying, Hey, turn those TVs off, they're saying mean things here. It either way, it doesn't sound good with what he's saying. I understand when he says earmuffs, tunnel vision, all of that. Yeah. It's the TV part. That if you take that literally, it sounds like you're being hypersensitive here. He said, uh, I'm just going around all of Chicago uh, <laughs> trying to round up all the papers because of all the columns <laughs> being written right now that uh, can't be reading all this stuff. Like, he's just trying to say, don't pay attention. We're just trying not to pay attention to that stuff and just focus on ourselves. But people are taking it so literally. He wants all, every TV turned off. Trying to take down some TV towers uh, on my day off. I was been uh, taking everybody's <laughs> cell phone and deleting the Twitter apps on their phone so that they can't read it. Uh, I took the radio out of my car. I took the radio out of uh, all my teammates' cars. I don't Just... think that's what he's saying. Play it again. Here's Mitchell Trubisky talking about TVs. Trying to get some of these TVs in the building turned off because you got too many people talking on TV about us and uh, what they think about us, what we should do, what we are and what we're not. But they don't really know who we are. Does or it what sound we're like he's joking there? What we're going through, what we're thinking. Does it does it sound like that? It's not like a, it's not a metaphor, is it? Like if he's saying well, McLovin like, thinks so. Right. Yeah. That, he's that's a, speaking like allegorically, right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. He's seen's absolutely right. He's totally not turning around off TVs, literally. Yes, Paul. According to the Chicago Sun Times, the reporters there are actually gonna check to see if the TVs <laughs> have been turned off. Because the Sun Times says the Bears have flat screen TVs throughout Hallis Hall. They're a place to display information about like your schedule for the day, uh, motivational sayings great old bear video, or even they actually have playbook changes on these TVs because they're just for the players in the player hallways. And other TVs in the building air sports channels, NFL Network and ESPN and others, local teams. So the Trubisky didn't say specifically he's going to have them turned off, but the, the media said they're going to monitor to see as they go to the facility today, are they changed? Why don't you put the cooking channel on oh, or something like that? Building Alaska, that'll motivate yeah, you. yeah. Barnyard builders yeah. or whatever it is. Building off the grid. Yes, Tom. Whether we're taking it too literally or not, it's still fun to picture Mitch going from room to room with a remote. Click, 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 <laughs> going all around the household, <laughs> making sure all the TVs are up. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune into Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV. Stream for free on BR Live or download the Dan Patrick Show app.